As soon as the protagonist leaves the room and sees her phone on the living room coffee table, Yundu realizes that Seijin is up to something because she is sure she left the phone in the bedroom. The next day, we see that the current topic of conversation among the family members is how Taekyung is a womanizer, going out with his ex while his pregnant wife is at home. To prevent the comments from getting to her, Yundu plays along with Madame Eun's provocations and even asks the lady if she thinks divorce would be a good solution to this problem, which obviously leaves Madame Eun shocked. Later, Seijin appears at the residence and gives a fake general apology to the women present. Then, we move to when she is alone with Madame Moon, and we see that the secretary chose not to mention the messages she took photos of the previous night that were on the protagonist's phone. However, I believe that Seijin didn't open her mouth because she is planning something bigger than just telling Madame Moon. Soon after, Seijin has a private conversation with Yundu, just to keep up appearances and once again, falsely apologize. The protagonist takes advantage of their being alone to ask the secretary if she saw her phone the previous night, but maintaining her character, Seijin says she doesn't know about it. In the next scene, we see that Jang Ho managed to contact Yundu through the school phone, and the man offered her something temporary, which is to be a tutor for a particular lady. Since the protagonist was feeling bad for not being able to contact Jang Ho before, she ended up accepting. However, Yundu was thoughtful after hanging up because the gentleman mentioned he called her several times, but since she hadn't received any calls, the protagonist decided to check his contact in her phone book, and at that moment, she discovered that his number was blocked. Yundu can't believe this could be Seijin's doing, it's a very malicious thing, but there's no other explanation because Taekyung didn't do it, and she, who owns the phone, didn't either. Switching to Chun Myung, we see that he went to a place where a golf simulation is held, and there, the man ended up catching his father in the middle of a conversation with an assistant. The topic doesn't please Chun Myung at all because Chan Sik was talking about transferring company shares to Yundu and Ji Myung's babies as a gift for the children. The man didn't waste time and, after arguing with his father, he rushed to call Madame Moon and tell her everything. Meanwhile, Yundu made a list of tests to see if the baby is still developing correctly, and fortunately, the baby is healthier than ever. But the couple's joy is interrupted when Madame Moon called Hyun Woo and asked Dr. Cha to bring Tae Kyung home with him because there is a family crisis. Now we see Dae Sang, who is increasingly overwhelmed with problems because, in addition to promising Woo he double the salary, he recently agreed to her request to be paid weekly. While thinking about how to tell Bang Nim, the restaurant owner, Yu Myung appears at the place thinking Dae Sang is Su Jiam's father. The girl comments on the company's proposal to manage the girl, but since Dae Sang is older and doesn't understand much about this area, he thinks Yu Myung wants to take advantage of the little girl's image and quickly expels her from the place. Soon Dong Wook arrives at the restaurant, and Dae Sang tells him about the girl who just left. Fearing, according to the men's minds, that Yu Myung might find the little girl playing with friends in the square, Dong Wook quickly leaves the establishment to fetch his daughter. In any case, their fear turned out to be real because Yu Myung found Su Jiam and, after defending her from her friends who were once again mistreating her just because she doesn't have a mother, Yu Myung lightly mentioned her company and handed a business card to the girl. Back at the Gong family home, an argument is taking place. On one side, we have Madame Moon, who refuses to have any part of the company given to Tae Kyung or the children the man will have. Not being included among those who will receive the shares, Chun Myung obviously supports the lady. On the other side is Chan Sik, defending Tae Kyung and the family the doctor is building, reinforcing the idea that it's time for Tae Kyung to be accepted as a member of the Gong family, and this is a great way to show it to him. Of course, Madame Moon says she will not relent in opposing her son's decision, so she says more unpleasant things about Taekyung and Yundu just as the couple is arriving. The man doesn't care that Madame Moon defames him, but it's different when it refers to his child. Thus, Taekyung confronts the lady, and what was supposed to be a conversation leading the family to behave differently ends at that moment due to both sides lacking respect. Taekyung can't take it anymore, 
it's visible in his eyes, and showing it, the man said he would take the whole company for himself, which almost gives the lady a heart attack. Chun Myung is another who can't hold back and goes after Tae Kyung, which once again shows that the only ones without sense in that house are those related to Madame Moon. Inok okay is very upset with the situation that has formed and makes it clear to the lady that her attitude will never be forgiven. Later, while Inok okay was trying to calm down by drinking tea, Yundu appeared to inform her that Tae Kyung went to a hotel room for today. And the lady confesses to her daughter-in-law that for the first time, she is at peace regarding her son because, even though it's her fault the Gong family treats him the way they do, Tae Kyung has shown he is ready to become a family man. The next day, the intrigues don't end. During the meal, Madame Moon continues talking about Tae Kyung, so Yun Du, who couldn't hold back anymore, defended her husband, and even though she was respectful, of course, the lady didn't like it, unlike Yu Myung, who fully supported her. In the next scene, we move to Madame Moon in her room with her youngest granddaughter, and there, Yu Myung defends the young couple once again. However, at that moment, carried away by the heat of the moment, the lady reveals that soon the two will separate because she is helping Sejin win over Tae Young. Thus, the girl decided to take the news to the protagonist because she likes the two together and doesn't agree with her grandmother's actions. Meanwhile, Chan Sik called his eldest son to his office and gave him the address of the hotel where the doctor is staying, so Chun Myung can fetch him. Obviously, the eldest son refuses to carry out such a task and, moreover, gives the address to Sejin to go after him. Then we move to the scene where the secretary is in Taekyung's hotel room. Of course, the man refused to return to the annex, so Sejin, thinking the doctor didn't know about Yundu's ex-boyfriend, showed him the photos she had taken from the protagonist's phone, thinking she was triumphant. Taekyung quickly ruined her joy by saying he already knew about the matter and that it was resolved, but the problems didn't stop there because, shortly after, the doorbell rang, and it was Yundu who was surprised to find Sejin there. However, before anything was said, Yundu asked to be alone with the secretary, and now, folks, things are about to heat up. The protagonist doesn't beat around the bush, she goes straight to the point and says she knows Sejin hasn't given up on him. So, the secretary counters the issue, making it clear that she knows about the three-month deadline, which once again reveals that she's been meddling in things that don't belong to her. Unfortunately, the man couldn't hear the entire conversation, but at least he got to hear the end. Sejin concludes by saying that she truly loves him and if Yundu doesn't feel the same, she should get out of the way as soon as possible. However, our protagonist retorts by saying that she loves him much more than the secretary does, after all, Sejin is just obsessed with Taekyung, something that suffocates him and isn't healthy. Then, Yundu tells Sejin to leave her husband's room, and with no choice, the secretary storms off towards her car. Once inside the vehicle, Sejin uses her last resort, which is to send a message to the number that had declared feelings to the protagonist, and that's when she realizes it's Junha. Meanwhile, after hearing Yundu defend him, Taekyung had the courage to tell her that they should break the contract about the fake marriage. This obviously leaves our pregnant protagonist surprised, but what else can she do but accept? In the next scene, we see that Sejin went to the Gong family company because she remembered that she had kept Junha's phone from when he tried to enter the building, and now she confirmed that Yundu was dating the man after seeing several photos of them together. The next day, Madame Moon decided to gather her supporters and went to the annex determined to kick the protagonist out of the residence. Since Yundu already knows that everything between her and Taekyung is over, she simply responds that she will prepare her things within a few days. Meanwhile, Taekyung was thinking about the things he heard the previous night, so he arranged to meet Sejin at a cafe to put an end to the strange friendship they had been maintaining. Of course, hearing that the pair would no longer meet to discuss private matters didn't please her, especially since the reason was that the man didn't want to make his wife uncomfortable, even though Yundu never complained. Now that she is about to lose everything she thought she had gained in her relationship with Taekyung, Sejin asks when the baby is due to compare it with the dates when Yundu was still with Junha, 
and as expected, the secretary realizes that the child might not be Taekyung's. Switching to Yoo Myung, she was surprised to receive a call from Soo Jiam inviting her to be her model, and after an afternoon together, the two go to the girl's family restaurant. However, Yoo Myung only drops her off in front of the place and then leaves because Soo Jiam explains that her father is too angry right now to sign anything, so the woman should return on a day when he's calmer. Speaking of Dong Wook, when the man went to make a delivery at a hotel in his mother's restaurant's name, he was surprised to encounter Tae Kyung in the corridors. The man immediately thought the doctor might be cheating on his sister, so Dong Wook entered Tae Kyung's room looking for traces of a woman, and when he realized the doctor was telling the truth, that he would never betray Yun Du, the man even got emotional because he couldn't stand seeing someone else do the same thing Jun Ha did to the protagonist. Meanwhile, Dae Sang once again shows he's overstepping boundaries, the man decided to rent out Yun Du's old room, even though Bang Nim was against the idea, and guess who he signed the contract with? Jang Ho. So when the gentleman arrived home with Dae Sang, Bang Nim almost kicked her relative out, but since the school director appeared to be sick, she relaxed for the night and let him stay. Returning to Yundu, she went to the hotel to fetch her brother, but the man ended up taking a taxi home, and the protagonist stayed to talk with Taekyung. The two agreed on how to end the contract, they will tell both families that they want a divorce, but Taekyung will maintain an allowance to help her with the baby because, according to the doctor, this will prevent suspicion. Finally, before Yundu leaves, she asks why he decided to end everything so quickly, and Taekyung surprises her by responding that it's because he's in love with someone else. The next day, before Ji Myung goes up to her office, Hyun Woo asks her in the company parking lot what happened between her and Sang Hoon. Ji Myung ends up getting nervous both because of the question and because they are making a fuss at the workplace, and instead of explaining to her husband what Sang Hoon was talking about in that call, Ji Myung simply comments that they are getting divorced and she doesn't owe him any more explanations. This is a surprise for Sang Hoon, who was behind a pillar listening to the whole argument, so I believe concerned for the woman he likes, the man went up to her office and said he would be there for Ji Myung when she needed, adding that he now knows the whole truth about her marriage, but he won't tell anyone. Meanwhile, we see Bang Nim being attentive to Jang Ho, and the woman allows the gentleman to stay in her house until he finds another place. Switching to Hyun Woo, the man decided to take a walk to clear his head during lunch break and ended up meeting the son of a woman who has a pharmacy near the clinic. The boy was trying to ride a bicycle, and noticing his difficulty, Dr. Cha offered to teach him. However, they both forgot to inform the woman, so when she found them, she was trembling and very nervous because she thought the boy had been taken by someone or gotten lost. Anyway, after things calmed down, she thanked Hyun Woo for helping her little one with something she had difficulty teaching him. Returning to the protagonist, we see that the day she is going to teach Madame Moon has finally arrived, and of course, the lady was extremely embarrassed when Jang Ho introduced them. Yun Du tried to convince her to learn Korean with her, but Madame Moon was reluctant about the idea. Moving to the next scene, we see Tae Kyung in a cafe with the protagonist. He mentions that the first step before telling their families about the separation is to find a place for Yundu to move to. The protagonist doesn't disagree with anything, she just thanks Taekyung for all the help he's given her and feels sad that they can't continue as friends. Meanwhile, at the Gong family house, Inoke discovers that the protagonist is moving out after overhearing Su Jong talking to Chun Myung on the phone. She immediately calls to ask Yundu not to do it. She mentions that she tried to contact her son to prevent him from meeting Chun Myung, but since she couldn't, she implores the protagonist to change her mind. Focusing on the men, we see that the reason Chun Myung arranged this private meeting with the doctor was to say he would take better care of Inoke okay and ask Taekyung to leave the family, including moving out of the house. The doctor is tired of all these intrigues, so he simply agrees to distance himself from everyone. But Taekyung didn't expect Yundu's plan to be different, so after making him pack all his things in the hotel room, the protagonist and the man went to the Gong family house, where a huge argument was already taking place between Inoke and Madame Moon's grandchildren. 
There, our little Yundu made her stance clear. She defended her man very well, put everyone in their place, and even said she wouldn't move out until everyone apologized to take young. However, before the protagonist got more stressed, after all, she is pregnant, the doctor took her out of the place and, outside, declared his feelings for her, explaining that the woman he said he was in love with is actually Yundu. Well, the protagonist is a bit confused about what to feel, and we quickly move to the next day. At breakfast, we see that Chansik agreed with everything Yundu had said, so he made each of his children, including his mother, apologize to take young. And since the lady was reluctant about it, the protagonist gave a little threat by mentioning she found a new job, so to prevent her from revealing her secret, Madame Moon ended up apologizing. On a side note, at this point in the story, we can see that Yu Myung isn't involved in any of these dramas and seems to be the only sibling acting normally. Later, when the young couple is back at the annex, Tae Young questions the protagonist about why she's avoiding him and even asks if she has no feelings for him. When Yun Du responds that she really doesn't feel anything, we see the man devastated. In the next scene, Yu Myung meets with Su Jiam and Dae Sang at an establishment. The woman thought she was talking to the girl's father when she was surprised by Dong Wook's arrival. Updating the story, the family uncle is against Su Jiam signing a contract at such a young age, while her father sees no problem with it as long as everything is properly agreed upon. However, realizing who wants to manage his daughter, Dong Wook asks to speak with the woman alone. Well, Seeing that the man really has a daughter made Yu Myung lose all interest in him, and besides explaining what her company does, the woman shows willingness to assign another agent to take care of Su Jiam if he feels uncomfortable. Meanwhile, Yun Du once again causes headaches for the Gong family because upon seeing everyone taking advantage of Inok -okay in the kitchen, the protagonist tells each one to order their own food since today she decided her mother-in-law would have a day off with her. Chan Sik loved the idea and fully supported his daughter-in-law, even commenting that it was about time someone put everyone in their place. When Tae Young heard about the two going out, he didn't waste time and decided to invite Bong Nim to join them. In the end, this resulted in everyone going to the same restaurant and eating together, which is the opposite of what Yun Du wanted. To make things better, the two mothers decide to go out together to enjoy the rest of the day, leaving the couple alone. On the way to the annex, Tae Young comments that he won't give up on their relationship and that now he will try to win her over. However, saying these things makes the protagonist argue with him and even get out of the vehicle. The next day, Hyun Woo was at the pharmacy of the woman with a son when Ji Myung passed by and got jealous seeing him so comfortable with another woman. Thus, Ji Myung decided to enter the place and ask for medicine to help with her pregnancy, which made it clear about her condition and that, in appearances, she is Dr. Cha's wife. Meanwhile, we see Madame Moon continuing her lessons with Yundu, and outside the family context, the lady even behaves like a normal person. In the next scene, it's shown that Jun Ha is back in the country, ready to join the Gong family company. What did you think of these episodes? I hope you enjoyed the summary, leave your suggestions in the comments, and subscribe. If you liked the video, like and share to help me out. See you next time.